This is a video about installing the CAD Query module for FreeCAD in Windows and you'll see that I'm using Windows 10 Technical Preview here because it's what I had handy uh, but I've done the same install on Windows 7 and uh, Windows 8 and it works just the same. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, CAD Query, uh, as it says here, is an intuitive, easy to use Python based language for building parametric 3D CAD models. And the parametric part of that means that uh, inside of your CAD Query script, uh, you can define parameters or variables. Uh, and then those variables, you can change just them, and they will change the output of your 3D model. So you can make small changes with the variables or really large changes uh, but allows you to do some really interesting and, and cool things like um, creating families of parts very easily and things like that so it's a very effective way to do uh, do CAD 3D CAD so in order to use the module we're gonna start out by installing FreeCAD um, and I have um, installed FreeCAD previously on here because it takes a while to install uh, but what you'll do is you'll come in here and you'll see this download section there's a Windows link under that and then the latest stable release as of the recording of this video is uh, 0 0.1 or yeah 0 0.14 so if I click on that uh, come in here and I see there's a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version um, I've got a 64-bit version of Windows 10 running here, so I would click this and download this. Um, I've already downloaded it because, again, it takes a while, so you end up with uh, the installer file in here. You double-click, tell Windows it's okay to install it. Um, you can choose the defaults during the installation process. The only thing that uh, you might want to take extra time and consider is this add to Python path option here I'm taking a screenshot during the installation process and just saved it here um, but as the, the description says it adds the FreeCAD installation directory to Python path and registry and my understanding is that what this does is it allows um, your entire Windows system to use the Python interpreter that's bundled with FreeCAD uh, system wide uh, because Windows typically doesn't come or it doesn't come bundled with Python. So once FreeCAD is installed, uh, we'll go to the, the GitHub project for the uh, FreeCAD module. And again, um, I didn't mention it, but um, you go to uh, freecadweb.org uh, to download. If I can get back to it here, freecadweb.org is where you download FreeCAD from. Uh, you can go to GitHub and search for CAD Query dash FreeCAD dash module uh, to find um, this this module project. Uh, to download it, you can click this download zip button here, but this will grab the latest commit, which isn't uh, which is more likely to have glitches in it than if you use a stable release. So what I would do is come up here and click on release. And currently there's only one release of the module, it's um, version 0 0.1.8. Um, so I'll go ahead and click and download the zip. Once it's downloaded, I'll go to my downloads and drill down in here. And I find this CAD Query folder, and this is the folder that um, holds the module, the free CAD module. These other files are important, but you don't have to copy them over. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to copy this into the FreeCAD installation directory. And if you go to uh, back to the README for the module here, uh, you'll see that there's um, standard paths for the installation of FreeCAD for Windows here. Uh, like the x86 would be if, uh, since I'm running a 64-bit system, if I installed the 32-bit version of FreeCAD, on a 64-bit system, I think it would end up in here. But I think that this is where the FreeCAD installation should be. So I'm going to open another file explorer here. And then I'm going to uh, click on C drive. Go in here and I see FreeCAD 0.14. So I go in there and I see this mod directory. And that's where the, the FreeCAD modules are stored. So if I go in there, 
um, you can see that I've already copied over the CAD query directory because it, it takes a while to extract it. Um, but normally what you do is just uh, right click and copy and then um, right click and paste and then Windows will ask you for administrator privileges in order to copy the, the module here. So once that's installed you can start FreeCAD up It takes a little bit to start up here. You should see the splash screen come up here. There it is, zero version 0 0.14. All right, so when you open it up, once you've uh, copied the module folder over, there should be a CAD query option here. So if you select that, and this is the, the workbench uh, menu, where you can select um, what workbench you want to use, whether you want to do drafting or drawing or part creation or assembly. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and choose CAD Query here. It goes ahead and starts up. And you'll notice that the, the first thing that it does is opens an example. It opens this, this simple block here so you can kind of get a, a feel for the, um, the syntax and how, the, uh, how CAD Query works. Um, you also see that there's a CAD Query menu up here. It gives you the, the typical options like to create a new script, uh, which just uh, um, gives you some template code here in your coding window. Um, you can also open a script that you've created previously. You can do save, save as, close. Those are pretty standard. Uh, then you get down to this examples menu, which is really handy when you're trying to learn uh, FreeCAD. The examples in general start at the top uh, as simpler examples and then get more complex as they go down. So you can kind of work your way down through the list and I'll show you different concepts. Uh, they're named pretty intuitively, so you can tell if like you're interested in polygon creation um, you can find you know hopefully find an example that will will teach you that um, if I go ahead and open the simple block example uh, we can see that there is an execute script option here which is also bound to key F2 to make it quick to, to uh, execute the scripts so if I go ahead and change a parameter here it's a, a variable or a parameter. A variable in Python terms and a parameter in parametric modeling terms. I'll go ahead and just um, select execute script and you see that the length of the part has changed. Um, the last option here is clear output. You can click it and it just clears the report view down here. The report view is what uh, where you know it tells you what's going on with the module whether it's executing or whether you're opening something or if there's an error with your script um, like if I come in here and do put a D in front of this and then try and execute it it'll actually give me the stack trace and tell me what was wrong D cat query is undefined which makes sense so if I fix that execute we're back to where we were um, so that is everything that's um, installation and getting started with the, the free CAD, um, CAD query module. I'll post some links in the description below and uh, please feel free to ask questions. Thank you for watching.